guys and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on the video i hope everybody had a wonderful holiday whether you celebrate or not i hope you enjoyed the day off so we are here to talk about the matrix resurrection the matrix part four so to find out if his reality is a physical or mental construct mr anderson aka neo will have to choose to follow the white rabbit once more if he learned anything, it's that choice. While an illusion, it's still the only way out of or into the matrix. Neil already knows what he has to do, but what he doesn't yet know is that the matrix is stronger, more secure, and far more dangerous than ever before. Now, like most people, I really do love the matrix. The first one, the original, the one that came out in the 90s, the one that, of course, changed the way that cinema is seen. It's not one of my all time favorite movies, but I do really love it. Now, as far as its predecessors, you know, including this one, I have to admit that they were unnecessary. I feel like the matrix definitely would have been better if it was just like a one deal, just had that one iconic movie and that should have been the end of it um i don't think we really needed to continue on in the story i mean it's cool to see where this character where these characters ended up where their journey has been now i don't mind reloaded i tolerated revolution not revolution yeah revolution funny thing is i honestly this whole time all these years all these years i thought i had seen reloaded Apparently not. For sure I knew I had to see the third part because I had always heard that it was absolutely terrible. So I just opted not to see it. I don't really like to put myself into watching bad movies. So once again, we are plugged into the Matrix. We have like higher security protocols going on here. Neil Patrick Harris, who surprisingly, I didn't mind. Honestly, possibly one of my favorite things about the movie was Neil Patrick Harris. I really dog him as this character i honestly did so this time around we did not get a Lawrence fishburne back as morpheus um there is a story behind in the movie what happened to the one you know Lawrence fishburne uh, we know what happened there we have technically a new morpheus going on here and that is portrayed by yaya abdul mati the second it took me a moment to really get into him being morpheus because of course we've had three movies with Lawrence fishburne and then now you're throwing this new guy at me but once i was able to kind of get past and you know how they were able to incorporate him i was like okay I don't mean I will dig you, but I accepted it um, for what it was. So this is a movie that you would need to watch um, its predecessors to really understand how it is or what's going on, what's happening, or even to kind of have a point of reference of how they're supposed to have age within the time period that had happened. Like Jada Pickens Smith's character, uh, Niobe, Nairobi. I don't know something like that <laughs> yeah i know who <laughs> oh maybe you don't it's the way that the matrix has brought in and got smarter and learned and put up bigger firewalls within it harder for them to hack the people that are woke and are in the real world and then him of course trying to rescue trinity because she is also stuck in the matrix um i do miss badass trinity here though um, we do have a moment there at the end where she's kind of badass but or one badass badass trinity that we've got you know opening sequence in the first one it tries to go for that love story for the original one um we are when we're in the matrix um they're talking about the matrix being a video game which uh, mr anderson neil is the creator of the matrix and they kind of bring nostalgia towards the original and kind of mention what everybody loves about it it was very self-aware of what's going on hap what's happening unfortunately unlike ghostbusters afterlife or no way home where they kind of play a uh, tribute to its predecessors and and giving that love story uh to again um the original content where they succeeded this one pretty much didn't succeed very well again in my opinion because uh, it does again try to give you those nostalgia feelings i still know kung fu I'm trying to convince neo to take the red pill and i'm just like man just give me that damn blue pill because i'm over this um this is one that is in theaters and on hbo max and thankfully it's like it's like the universe new in theaters there wasn't really that many uh available show times in my particular ones i think everything is pretty much reserved for no way home so it kind of worked out 
and I ended up finding out because I totally didn't even realize it was going to be on HBO Max. So that really did um, work out for me. So I just watched it at home and I was totally fine with it. I mean, because it is a Matrix and because it does look awesome, that would be the reason to kind of see it in theaters for that. But story-wise, it's like, no. Unless you're like a die, die hard Matrix fan. The way that Neil worked better in the first one and the way that he was learning things more in that one worked so much better than what's happening here and trying to kind of get him to realize that this is the real world and you know this other thing isn't real and he's going through a lot of like mental issues and that of course has to do with the matrix and how they have basically brainwashed him it works within the story but for somebody it's, it ugh, ain't cool you guys i'm about to give you my score and you may guess what it is uh but of course if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new the trailers did get me i was semi excited for it not fully because like i said i'm not like a diehard matrix fan i do really really enjoy the first one the first one is the one that i've rewatched the most well, honestly the only one because i honestly thought i had seen part two but apparently i had not i'm giving um, the matrix resurrection a small popcorn i definitely think out of everything that's come out this week this is one that you should definitely pass on so if you've seen the matrix resurrection let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you if you haven't seen it are you planning on checking it out are you gonna skip on it have you seen any of the matrix movies go ahead and rank them down below oh you know what let me go ahead and rank them for you now um because i don't really don't want to do a separate video for it mm, we're gonna do we're gonna do revolution resurrection reload it and of course the matrix is like whoosh, way over here like not even to their level up there. All right, until next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.